This is Tuesday, April the 15th. It is tax day. And we have one of the most precious guests in this studio that we have ever had. This is a little four-month-old puppy. Doggy, this is Julia from Second Chance. You want to go to kbia.org, click on programs, and then radio friends to take a look at Julia here. And we get Valerie Chafin. Tell me about Julia. Julia is about four months old. She is a collie mix. We've had her about two weeks. We rescued her from the Humane Society about two weeks ago, and she's in foster care at the moment. Yeah, and she is a sweetheart. How many, how many other dogs and cats do you have out at Second Chance? We have close to 150 animals. All together? Um, all together, yeah. Now, all of those animals at Second Chance are in foster care? All the dogs are in foster care, and about eight, about 20% of our cats are in foster care. The other 80% um, of our cats are at our facility near Boonville. Yeah. So if somebody wants to become a foster parent, now Julia's foster parent is right here. Is right with us here, today. yes. If somebody wants to be a foster parent, what do they need to do? They what? need to send us an email at Columbia Second Chance at hotmail.com and tell us that they're interested in fostering a dog or a cat, and we will get in touch with them. And what does it all entail? Then? We'll interview them. We'll see where the dog or the cat's going to live. We'll see if it's an, what kind of environment they want to put the animal and see what animal we have that will fit best in that environment. Mm -hmm. Now, little Julia here, uh, she's been in foster care how long? Two weeks. We've two only weeks. had about two weeks. And, and there's a very good chance that she's going to go into her forever house pretty soon. Her it is. Home. She's meeting her potential adopters tomorrow night. So by the, so hopefully um, she'll be adopted pretty soon. Yeah. Now you were telling us a story uh, the last time you were here about reading to the cat. And there <laughs> yes. was a beautiful uh, story in the Trib uh, a couple of weeks ago about the kids that came out and were reading to the cats. What's the purpose of this? It's, it actually has two purposes. The original purpose was to socialize our cats. So children come in and sit in the middle of a room full of cats and just read their storybooks to them. And it gets the cats socialized to children and to anybody else. But it's also helpful to the kids. Um, they get to read aloud and practice their reading skills, which is, I think, a lost art. Yeah. And so it helps both the kids and it helps our cats. Okay. So if people want to do that or if they want more information on Second Chance, the best way to go about getting information? ColumbiaSecondChance.org or they can call us at 660-882-5050 or leave us a um, message at ColumbiaSecondChance at Hotmail.com. And, and you have adoption uh, dates, don't you, almost every weekend? Are you somewhere almost every weekend? Every Saturday morning we're at Petco. Um, every Saturday afternoon, we're open at our place, which is on Highway 179 near Boonville, uh -huh. from 12 to 5, and Sundays from 1 to 5. And then two Fridays a month, we're somewhere in Columbia okay. having our Friday night adoption events. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Mallory. Thanks for having us. And thank you for bringing that precious little Julia with I you I think today. she enjoyed it, too. This is okay. your 15 minutes, darling. So. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> take, take a look at Julia on on the web on kbia.org. I okay? think like she's getting attached to you, Paul. <laughs> I got four animals at home. <laughs> thank you, Valerie. Thank, thank you. you, Julia. Now, we turn to Ed Hansen, Talking Horse Production. Good to have you it's here, good Ed. Good to be here. Yeah. And how unfortunate that I have to follow such a cute yeah, animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. People you are can't. just turning off the radio. They don't even want to hear me. <laughs> well, tell me about uh, Talking Horse Production. You've got... Uh, the uh, Sudden Glide. The Sudden Glide. What is this? We are really excited about this uh, production because this is the first time we are producing, as part of our main season, an original script by a local playwright. Oh, this is an original script by a local by playwright? By a local playwright. David Crespi is the author of this play. And, what is Sudden Glide about? Uh, he is a professor of theater at the university and heads up their playwriting classes. Uh -huh. uh, the Sudden Glide, well, you might notice in the little picture here, there's an Oscar, but she's uh, posing with a glass of champagne. Uh, it refers to gliding on the red carpet. 
Mm -hmm. And um, David wrote this play for a local actress uh, who has Broadway chops, uh, Marsha Miller. I don't know if you know Marsha or not. Mm -hmm. Jim Miller's wife. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, it's about an aging Mississippi actress nominated for her fifth Oscar. She's never won, and she's up against Meryl Streep. Oh, my. And so she figures she's not going to win. Poor Yvonne, our character, has uh, a little bit of an alcohol issue uh, in her past history, and because she's so nervous about the Oscars, she has one drink too many. Okay. And uh, I won't tell you what happens at the end of Act One, but... The end of Act 1 actually is at the Oscars. Oh. And then Act 2 deals with damage control. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it sounds very It is a comedy. It is it a comedy. Very, very lighthearted. Yeah. And uh, Marsha is playing the role that was written for her uh, at our theater, and I'm playing Hampton Grisette, her agent. Yeah. You so know, it, it, it we're sounds, having a great time. the premise sounds wonderful. It's a Wouldn't charming Wouldn't it be play. fantastic if this uh, production ends up Going someplace besides Columbia. Well, you never know. No, you don't, do you? No. Now, this has had some, sta well, not stage readings, concert readings. Here in town, just sort of tweak it, but this is the uh, staged premiere. So mm -hmm. we're the, wor the world premiere at Talking So Boy. is David doing anything trying to promote it nationally? Well, uh, he has taken it a couple of times uh, to some various workshop um uh, uh, events around the country. David is also directing this show for us. Okay. I asked him if he would direct his own script. Well, so, of course. That, that makes common sense. Yeah. Right? So we're, we're... Who knows it better than him? I know. So we're really having a good time putting okay. it together. So this this opens when? We open in two days. We open on um, April 17th, which is uh, Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to run Thursday through Saturday. Sunday is Easter. And so we're going to dodge that. Okay. And then the following week, it will be Friday through Sunday. Okay. So... It opens this coming Thursday. You're mm -hmm. in Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All at 7.30. Mm -hmm. uh, 7.30. You're mm -hmm. taking Sunday off for Easter. Right. That's nice of you. Uh, and then the <laughs> next week... <laughs> the next I week, try to be considerate. <laughs> <laughs> the next week is... The next week is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And our closing show is the only one that will not be at 7.30. That Sunday afternoon show at 2.00. Okay, is that working out better? It is working out really Good. well to have that final Sunday performance at 2. All right. So it's Talking Horse production. The uh, The show is called The Sudden Glide. It's the world premiere. It is It indeed. is the world premiere here in Columbia. And you go see that in who knows. And 10, you need to come see Marsha because she is astounding in this role. 10, 15 years down the road, this might be on Broadway. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> and you can say, I saw it in Columbia, Missouri. Ed Hanson, thank you so much thank for coming you. by. I really appreciate and the And Valerie Chavin and Julia, thank you for coming. Friends. We're out of time for today. Uh, tomorrow, Vera Massey will be with his University Extension, our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Rachel Gangware, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. If there's something you would like to hear or see, I'd love to hear from you. PepperPMissouri.edu. That's my email address. And there's Julia. Bye-bye.